Hello and welcome to Wolf SSL live webinar, migrating from Mokana to Wolf SSL, presented by Wolf SSL senior software engineer, Eric. My name is Shizuka and I'll be moderating the webinar. All attendees will be in listen-only mode. If you have a questions, please use the Q&A box. We will host a Q&A session following the presentation. The webinar will also be recorded and made available on our YouTube channel shortly after the presentation. I invite you to follow us on Twitter at WolfSSL, as well as our other socials. Also, feel free to email us if you have any additional questions. And now, I would like to give a brief company overview before we move to the technical presentation. Today, WolfSSL secure over 2 billion connections. We have more than 1,000 OEM customers and dozens of resellers. Wolf SSL is made up of over 50 dedicated employees, most of which are engineers. This progress is, of course, supported by a strong partner network that we are proud of. Since the beginning, our engineering team has developed several embedded security products, including Wolf Clip with DO178 support, FIPS certification and a FIPS ready offering, MQTT up to the B5 specification, SSHB2, CPM 2.0, a secure bootloader known as Wolf Boot, as well as Java wrappers and JSSE support and commercial support for Coral. All of these offerings are accompanied by through maintenance and support plans up to the 24 7 level. We also offer full service consulting and now I would like to turn it over to Eric to talk about migrating from Mukana to Wolf SSL. Thank you very much, Shizuka. Hi, everyone. Today, we'll be reviewing the benefits of upgrading from Makana's orphan product lines to the actively maintained, best tested security library, Wolf SSL. I call them orphan because you actually can't even find the original Makana products on the DigiCert website anymore. WolfCrypt is at the core of all Wolf SSL products, and it contains the latest cryptography and algorithms. WolfCrypt is implemented at ANSI-C and contains platform-specific optimizations in Assembler. As you'd expect, these are standardized algorithms, and test vectors are used to ensure that signatures, hashes, and encrypt and decrypt operations all work correctly. Wolf SSL uh, adds a full TLS stack implementing all the way up to the very latest TLS 1.3 version of the specification. If you're not already aware of the benefits of using TLS 1.3, I'd invite you to check out Wolf SSL's series of webinars that are available on YouTube. Wolf SSL also supports DTLS up to the very latest version of that specification, 1.3 also. Uh, Wolf SSL also adds support for many of the critical features required for secure, secure communications including certificate handling, stapling, and revocation, all configurable and optimized to work with your embedded platform. Wolf Boot is a portable, secure bootloader solution that offers firmware authentication and firmware update mechanisms. Due to its minimalistic design, Wolf Boot is completely independent from any OS or bare metal application. WolfBoot can be easily ported and integrated in existing embedded software projects to provide a secure firmware update mechanism. The Wolf SSH library is a lightweight SSH v2 client and server library. It also supports SCP, SFTP, and port forwarding. Additionally, it supports the Wolf SSH daemon server. And since Wolf SSH also uses Wolf Crypt, all the optimizations and platform support are inherited. So as you can see, there's a direct path for migrating all these Makana orphans to secure, supported, updated, and maintained solutions from Wolf SSL. So we've talked a little bit about the similarities between the product nines. Now we're gonna focus on the added benefits that come from using Wolf SSL. Starting with open source project support. These are just a few of the projects that Wolf SSL works with. These projects are used the world over to power the infrastructure of the internet and IoT. They use Wolf SSL because it provides a proven solution capable of being optimized and configured for any platform. Apache and Lighty web servers benefit from faster handshakes and using less resources per connection. 
boost ASIO, secures the low-level IO operations used in so many resource-constrained embedded projects. LibEST combines with Wolf SSL to allow secure certificate enrollment, management, and public key infrastructure requests and responses. Uh, OpenSSH and LibSSH are full-featured communication suites, and when linked against Wolf SSL, it can be used in embedded environments and platforms that were not possible with other security libraries. Qt or Qt users benefit from the Wolf SSL TLS provider because they get the latest protocols, smaller footprint, and portability. Strong Swan uses Wolf SSL to provide FIPS certified cryptography to their IPsec based VPN solution. Curl is nearly ubiquitous in projects of all sizes around the globe. Wolf SSL can be used with Curl to offer certified, tested, and embedded optimized protocol tools. Additionally, Wolf SSL provides support and consulting for the CURL project. The next point I'd like to make is arguably the most important. Wolf SSL takes testing very seriously. So behold, the rainbow of testing. We have incorporated testing into all our coding processes and the testing matrix grows daily. From the instant that a code change is committed, an array of API and unit tests are run locally. This check ensures that the most common configurations still build and that memory usage remains consistent. After the changes are pushed out to the repository as a pull request, then the real challenges are started. Configurations for supported platforms, tool sets, and operating systems with and without various features enabled are all validated against the code changes. With some of our support packages, a customer's configuration can be included in our build test suites. We can even incorporate custom hardware to ensure that new versions of Wolf Cell will work with your application. Next, a wide variety of vector tests and interoperability suites are checked. These include protocol compliance tests, regression tests, and even fuzzer tests. We also test against other Wolf Cell projects uh, and open source solutions. After all the continuous integration testing has been completed, the reviews start. This is where we have a, this is where having a brain pool that consists of all the original authors really makes a difference. All code changes have to be peer reviewed by the team. We only accept code changes from team members and approved contributors. Since we are open source, our code also benefits from university researchers that coordinate with us to improve and harden our implementations of the protocols. This is a huge advantage over closed source libraries because hiding the code does not mean the problems stay hidden. Here's another more in-depth look at the suites, suite of tests that are run after code has been merged into the repository. And if there are any failures, these tests generate reports that are shared with the team. You'll notice that we incorporate a lot of third-party tools for memory tests, static analysis, and especially fuzz testing. These are the very same tools used by malicious actors to find the vulnerabilities. The difference is that we also use them to find and fix issues before the storm starts brewing. So now let's, uh, let's highlight some, some more important reasons that customers have switched from Makana to Wolf SSL. As we discussed earlier, having, security, having a security library uh, experts available to review the, the code changes is very critical. And who knows the code better than the original authors? The Wolf SSL team works relentlessly to maintain the libraries and add new features and components as they're needed in the many vertical markets that we participate in. Despite all the testing, no software is perfect, and sometimes problems are identified in protocols that we have implemented. Wolf SSL is committed to fixing issues that are reported to us fast. On average, we're able to turn around and a tested fix within 36 hours of a report coming in. We coordinate with both the researchers and our customers to ensure all parties are provided ample time to respond before any disclosure is made public. Support, support's a hallmark of Wolf SSL, and we offer free help to everyone getting started with a project using Wolf SSL projects. Our support staff are top-notch. 
And we even offer support packages that assign a dedicated Wolf SSO engineer to help resolve any issues that you might be facing with your application. I'll speak more to the available support options in just a bit. Only certified cryptography can be used in some applications, which is why we took parts of our Wolf Crypt library through full DO178 DAO-A certification for use in avionics. This includes traceable artifacts for encryption algorithms, such as SHA-256 and SHA-384 uh, for message digest, AES for encryption and decryption, RSA to sign and verify, Cha Cha Poly, Cha Cha 20 Poly 1305 for authenticated encryption and decryption, uh, ECC to sign, verify, and share secrets, HMAC for key hash, hashing and message authentication. Uh, we've even taken our bootloader project through certification. And lastly, Wolf SSL has a well defined and communicated roadmap. We are committed to keeping you in the loop when it comes to planning our features and projects. We were one of the first to implement TLS 1.3, starting with the early protocol drafts way back in 2017. Anyone requiring FIP certified cryptography has likely used or heard of us already, and we are primed for the next iteration of FIPS with our FIPS 140-3 certification. Our FIPS module is compatible with all of our products, and you can even use it with other TLS libraries with things like Wolf Engine and Wolf Provider. Well, we are confident that it will, we will be the first general purpose software library certified with FIPS 140-3. So the Wolf SSL team has also done uh, integrated experimental post-quantum cryptography algorithms into the Wolf SSL library. And you're often to actually go out and test those uh, with the latest, very latest NIST recommendations uh, using our plentiful examples. Uh, Wolf SSL has optimized assembler for a number of architectures. This enables more performance and sometimes even smaller footprint for some algorithms. The SP math component is Wolf SSL's proprietary big math implementation. SP math is highly configurable and can perform faster and compile smaller than heap math and fast math in many environments. It is truly a distinguishing feature for our security library. Wolf SSL is focused on embedded environments, so we support a wide variety of development platforms out of the box. Similarly, we support many, many hardware platforms. We work closely with our chip vendor partners to take advantage of any hardware cryptography acceleration that might exist. And when you're looking to store your cryptographic secrets, it is important to have a good platform to store them on. Even more important is ease of accessing and using those secrets. With Wolf TPM, we have already added support for several platforms, and you can use Wolf SSL to access your PKCS bundled keys. Finally, we are not scared to publish our benchmarks publicly. You do a quick search for Wolf SSL benchmarks to see our performance in action. So a couple summary slides before we move on. Uh, as we discussed earlier, moving from McConnell Libraries to Wolf Cell is a very straightforward process. And we're here to help you along the way. The TLS and SSH libraries are implementations of standardized protocols. So this implies that they can be readily swapped out in favor of a better solution. The basic operation of the cryptography libraries are the same. Data goes in one way, comes out encrypted, decrypted, signed, or hashed on the other end. And we're here to help. We offer consulting packages specifically for customers that are transitioning to Wolf SSL because we do not want to see anyone get left out in the storm. I mentioned earlier that we'd talk a little bit more about the support offerings for Wolf SSL. We have a package that will suit your team's needs. This falls in line with uh, the testing options I talked about. We can even add your configuration or environment to our testing harness, thereby ensuring that all new versions of Wolf SSL are already tested against your build settings. This is invaluable for teams that do not have time for fixing integration issues when new releases or fixes come along. Our support staff is ready to help answer any questions or provide optimization advice. In addition to direct support, we also offer assistance from our community forums and GitHub. We also have an extensive repository of examples that is constantly growing and being updated.
And in appreciation of all the interest we've had in moving projects from Makana to Wolf SSO, we're happy to share with you the Mokana Migration Kickstart Program. This special offer provides a full year of top-notch Wolf SSL support for free. This allows your team to access Wolf SSL's knowledgeable staff, support staff who will help answer any library platform or application questions that might come up. And if that wasn't enough, we are also offering half off for Makana users that are ready to upgrade to Wolf SSL. This is an amazing opportunity to start using an updated and reliable security library. If you are using any of the Makana Nano products, we can help you migrate to supported Wolf SSL solutions. And with that, I'd like to wrap it up and we're gonna open the floor for questions in just a minute. Uh, I'd also invite you to go and download Wolf SSL. It's, it's available on GitHub or from our website. And uh, Shizuka, do we have any questions yet? Yes, so they have question. Can Wolf SSL run on the IMXRT1170? Yeah, absolutely. Um, We've done a lot of work with our partner NXP in uh, providing solutions for uh, the IMX line. Uh, we've also done a lot of work to take advantage of the hardware acceleration that advanced, it exists on those, uh, specifically the CAM chip. Um, so we've actually got a bunch of examples, demonstrations, and you can actually run this all out of the box. Okay. We have another question. When will Wolf SSL FIPS 140-3 certificate be available? That's a good question. So we've been working extremely hard on getting this available, making the our FIPS 140-3 certificate available over the last three years or so. Um, of course, there's been a lot of interruptions um, and there's a lot of uh, uh, bottlenecks and as far as labs and uh, NIST testing goes. But uh, we think we're really close and we hope to have something available in the next month or so. Okay. And I do have another question. How can I get more information about the Kickstarter program? Yeah, absolutely. I would invite you to um, email us at fax, F-A-C-T-S, at wolfssl.com. Uh, that'll get a conversation started with one of our business managers. And um, we can give you more information about the Kickstarter program. Okay, perfect. It seems like there is um, no question at the moment. So thank you, Eric, for hosting an informative webinar and everyone for joining the webinar today. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter at WolfSSL as well as our LinkedIn and YouTube channel. And if you have any further question later on, please email us the facts at wolfssl.com, like Eric said. And thank you again. And see you next week for everything you need to know about FIPS 140-3. Thank you.